embarrassing every single time. But then I'll, I'll usually fumble. Then I'll usually fumble around with my words and I'll like completely like not understand what they're the saying. You hit him with the foot turn and the ooh woo while you're doing it. Like no, um, like, it's what, whatever that guy said before. Caster, when, like your anime crush is gets in front of you. That's me, but with every single service worker in a restaurant. <laughs> it's like I have a crush on all of them because I always am stuttering around them, and it's super embarrassing. It's but, terrible. Still hanging out, waiting for the final member to join to get the game started. Hope you guys are enjoying our yapping and our banter while we wait. Yeah, D'Lo is oh, the thing. anime crush of, uh... So close, I'm so far oh. real. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm such man. a sundry, please. <laughs> it's okay, take I, take your time, we're, we'll get, we're getting there. It's, it's week one for everybody. I've been watching quite a lot of anime recently in Spanish. Haiku, everyone, incredible anime. I was recommending that to our friend Kat, but she unfortunately stinks and has not watched it yet. That and Zom 100. Dude, both fantastic. Definitely check those ones out. You know what's funny? I almost hid my chat today from stream. I was thinking about it, but I'm kind of glad I didn't. All right, we got him. We got a sixth. I know you guys are listening, so start when you're good. Like I said, we're going to run kickoff from this camera angle for a bit. We won't do the whole thing, but since you guys mentioned it, and we've been hanging out anyway, start when you guys are nice and ready to go. We are all about gaming. I'll fix it one day. Kickoff time, we're D'Lo. Game. game one. We did it. We made it here through all the mistakes, and already the Sunset Olives making a play S-Class from the sky down to Solo. Not going to find the shot this time. I mean, in the chat, they're saying that blue lock's insane, but hopefully blue's got it on lock. Doesn't seem to be the case. 100x throwing. Not going to live up to the name. A quick goal there off the bang down there from Blaz. Kicks it off the corner right into the waiting arms there of Alaris. A clean one at that. Now we go back to the normal camera. 100x throwing with an early lead. Sunset Olives. All the gaming will pop up. That's my bad. We've been here a while. But it's the Sunset Olives making their way up to... The Surge Cup and looking for their first goal, and they will do it. It's Avatar Man's making it through, making it happen, tying up the game. This man's has mastered the way of the water because the Avatar just sunk that in so cleanly. You got that flow going. Nice job here. Two goals, less than 30 seconds. The Malum Curse in full effect. Such full effect. I tried to tell you guys, it's always on mine. Oh, we forgot to look at the car. I didn't even notice what car. Oh, and Laris had. Yeah, well, yeah well. It, it completely went over my head. I can't even see it. Let's see if I can find them. I can do this. You got avatars. I know how to, I know how to, I know how to use the uh, the client in this game. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I was about to hit miles per hour and go back in time to prevent Sunset Alls from even being born. That's the plan here. Because you might need to get back to base right quick. Because you got 100 boosts in pocket. But you need them on defense right now, my friend. Kicked up there. Alaris going to be the one to receive. Now supporting that 100 boost. Sporting that nice, fancy car chassis. But give me on defense here. You have one in goal. S-Class kicks it up. Nice job denying that. 100x throwing are clearly okay with going proactive on the defense there. Meet them on the back wall. Avatar looking for the double touch. Has enough boost for it. Drops Solo? it down low. But if it's too slow. Stolen. Nalo follows it up. Makes it 2-1. That's an Olivet special back from Riptide. Now the Sunset Olive special is solo playing from that midfield dealo, waiting for. I, I think season one, my first season in RLSS, I made a comparison to Edge, the ultimate opportunist, and that's the way the shots come through. And it worked there. We'll see if they can continue to make that play happen. They like to play off the corner, play off midfield. Watch for S Class Wizard as well for midfield off the sidewall shots. It's a very common suit, but instead the shot comes through. 100x throwing, but S-Class was there for the save. I love that faith that S-Class had in their abilities to retreat back. They stepped a bit inside the goalie box, but they knew they could retreat back if necessary, and they did manage to divert that shot off to the back wall. Now Avatar going to be playing third man. Pass down to S-Class. Doesn't quite get the touch. Blast. Now it's Blast setting up for the rest. Alaris once again sails out of nowhere. Makes it 2-2. Two to two. We got a game. We got a game. This, Yeah, the back and forth so far, it's been very well matched between both of these two teams. They're both seeming very confident on their offensive plays. Can't ask for more than that. If they can keep up that passing, I like the idea that unfortunately S-Class Wizard with the second touch there off the pass from Avatar, if they had had that, might have been a different story. Now Sol and Al going a bit offensive. That's the violence I want to see. Get them demos going in pocket. Avatar doesn't hit the 50. Sol and Al instead misdirects it. 
Ooh, nice demo there on a blast as well. Bangs right downfield. Diaz has the boost in pocket. Do you have the juke shoes though? Not quite. Said. Kicked Watch up Avatar. High. Waiting on to that blast. Oh, Off the much. angle. Blast once again steps out of the glory box to redirect it. Solon Owl bangs it downfield, and they're gonna pursue it. That is what they gotta do. Oh, Avatar heavily commits there. Gonna be out of this play for a bit longer. Now Blaz grabs the boost. Kicked back out by Sunset Olives. They stay safe for now. Now it's through the corner. 100X throwing with control for now. Blaz leads it up, gets it over the head of S-Class, but Solo is there to match. Can the Sunset Olives turn this into an offensive play? They've been trying to get something going in the last couple of possessions, but it's been matched too well. Happens again. Blaz off the ceiling, gets it past one. Solo low on boost, won't be the main defender here, but Alara is not going to commit to an offensive play. That gives new opportunity to Avatar from midfield, past Diaz, down to Solo! But Solo had too much speed and couldn't recorrect in time, but without boost, Solo recovers and makes it work to give the Sunset Olives the lead. Look at exactly what you predicted, Anthony. S-Class Wizard off that side wall, drops it for the pass into that crowd. Solanalo finds the perfect angle, fights their way tooth and nail to weight room their way past throwing and weight room their way past the tie. Diaz tries to make it 3-3, three, three, not going to be quite allowed. Alaris off the ceiling, doesn't have the reset, doesn't have any boost either. Avatar swipes it away to the side wall. Bounce back there, not going to find the double touch. Now Blaz having boost in pocket, waits for the shot there from Solo. Won't be faked, S-Class tries to redirect it, doesn't quite succeed. That would have been a beautiful team play. Now it's Alaris with the new car, feeling good, looking good. Great goal, 3-3 three, three now, it's tied up. And tied right away. With 1.33 to go, there's two threes around those two threes. And whoever's going to get the advantage, I feel like it's gonna, not going to come off kickoff. Kickoffs haven't seemed to be the strength for these two teams. It's once you get the ping pong effect going, once you're able to lock something down. Avatar trying to make me a liar over the head of one. Can he get under Alaris? No! It doesn't! No follow-up this time. No opportunity taken from the Sunset Olives that they've been finding. We loved the recovery of the no boost, but you gotta get more than that because it's gonna be a high scoring affair. This could set the tone for the whole set, D'Lo. And at this point, it's hard to really pick apart what's making either team stand out. No one's got that true advantage. No, they've both been so even keel. These clears, this defense, these offensive plays have been so great with the synergy that it's just really hard to make heads or tails of who's going to come out on top. Now Blaz off this Bang. corner, big demo there to Avatar. That could decide it, but has the support there from S-Class Wizard. Diverts it back, but not with enough space. Now Diaz bounces it off the back wall. No teammates waiting the wings. We're confident enough to try to follow it up quickly. Alaris has the boost. Don't have the Solo. advantage, though. Going to be Solon Owl sending against the back wall, but Blaz ready there to clear it back downside field. Diaz, pass to Alaris. A bit too hot and heavy there off those back wheels. Maybe a mistake you couldn't afford. Now less than 30 to go. And 100X throwing, looking to make one final push. It does get hit, though. Diaz with plenty of boost to get control back and gets it past S-Class. Now Avatar gets it through to Solo with the shot, and he nails it! Four to three! The Sunset Olives take the lead with less than 15 to go. This is beautiful play. Look at that angle. And both of their cars throwing get thrown out by the force that just got dropped on their head top. Solonalo making waves here in the Surge Vision. Absolutely beautiful. 10 seconds left. I don't know if they can stop it, but Diaz is certainly going to try. Oh, my God. Oh, the big stop oh. is off the crossbar. Oh, oh it's God. in. It's a tie again. Unbelievable. Come on. Their first game of the first week, and these two teams came to play. Tied up with two seconds left to go. Are you joking? Dude, I think I hear Duel of the Fates playing in the background. This is <laughs> insanity. Avatar going to send it up. It's high. It's on orange side. He's got back down. Lady Arms there. Oh, oh. it's going to come too low there. S-Class wasn't trying to find the follow-up, but it wasn't going to have the height necessary. We're in OT, baby. OT time. Sunset Olives looking to continue. Kickoffs have not been the key for these teams. It's once they get it going. But 100x throwing don't want to wait. But the look not there. Blaz from the corner. A lot of boost to work with. But being patient. And now Diaz sets it up. It'll go towards Alars. The hit in the corner. 
Who's at midfield? Nobody. It's a reset from 100x throwing, and the Sunset Olives are looking to take advantage of that play. Solo recovers boost. Gets a redirect on it, but D'Lo, this is a decent chance for Blast if he can get there. But no, again, boost becoming the big problem. Avatar met by Diaz. Solo catches it midfield, not allowing a shot this time. Off the back wall, Sol now get a redirect possession. Only to the corner, waiting for Orange. They bang it back downfield in the waiting arms there of Avatar. No one downfield to try to support and follow it up. Now Solanal beaten out there by Lars. Could be in a bit of trouble here, but receives the pass from the third man. Avatar, Avatar comes flying in, drops it down. Didn't have enough force. Oh, no. Didn't have the speed. Blaz going to save it. S-Class sets it up again. It's only going to hit the car instead of the ball. Solanalo now off this back wall. Redirected there beautifully by Diaz. But Avatar! they're still not out of dodge. No! Avatar with the last touch. It's not enough. Wizard's going to appear out of nowhere, but can't pull the goal out of the magic hat. Blaz to Solo. It's touched, but Avatar there for backup out of the net. Still 100x throwing, looking to make this their play to take it. Now past 135 of OT. Avatar to Solo at midfield, off the wall, sets it up. Is Beautiful there someone pass. there? No. Diaz able to get a hand, handle on it first. Now Diaz leads it through, but Avatar with the credit of the save. Blaz keeping it in that corner. 100x throwing. I've been looking to make their plays from there, but maybe it took too long because now Solo is back with boost and has the Sunset Olives ready to make a play. But again, Diaz playing spoiler. Now bringing it to the net, looking for the double hit, not gonna connect. S-Class with the save. Now Solo, no boost, didn't stop him last time. Avatar with the hit, props it up on 100x throwing side. Still not there, it goes back to blue where Solo's waiting. Alaris over, Blaz, no, Diaz, yes, but still the Sunset Olives with control. Now S-Class off the crossbar, not there. Whoever wins this game wins the set. I'm calling it. <laughs> this game's all we need to see. <laughs> Alaris has got the boost, but do you have the moves? Solanalo might not be able to say he does because he's going to get really like a beautiful pitch off the side wall. He's in the Avatar state. Avatar man breaks the OT. Wins game one for the Sunset Olives. 241 was what it took for game number one. A best of five, by the way, but the Sunset Olives take it. My God, <laughs> that was Did game one. I think, I think that's it. <laughs> I, th I know. Do we call it there? Like, do we really need another one? <laughs> Jesus. Everybody Christ. okay? I mean, Pulse checks. Oh, no, I'm not. That was insane. I have not. I don't. I genuinely. That's might be one of the closest series. Series. I'm already calling it a series. One of the closest games I have ever seen in my time casting wow. Rocket League. Dear. God, that's like, I, I don't smoke, but I need to light up a cigarette after that or something, bro. <laughs> like, someone got a light? <laughs> Jesus. I'm going to pick up some bad habits. <laughs> Y'all got to get me stressing out. You worded What's that better than I ever right could have now? imagined. Holy. I knew you were going to have something wild for us when we came back from that. My God. No, dude, that, they got something wild for us. That was insane. Did you see that? Holy yeah, that was out of control. I don't even know how to break that down. That was such a close one. I'm about to lose us our sponsor with like the words I'm trying to say right now, bro. <laughs> this is, Aren't you glad was... you agreed to the second set? Yes. <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap. We talked Jesus. about doing the one, but my goodness. Okay, so like, how do we break that down, though? Because it just was so tit for tat. Every single shot was instantly met with the second shot that put it on board. There was never a lead of more than one. These teams are so even keel. I don't know how we're going to find anything different here in game two, but we're off to the races already. Yeah, they don't care. And I bet both teams still have the momentum and the adrenaline flowing from that game one. But all things do move on. Time heals all wounds. We'll see if it heals the wound for 100x throwing for Sunset Olives taking their first game in the surge cup already offense out from that blue side looking to see if they can keep on that pressure 100x throwing we're getting very comfortable as the game was going on though so we'll see if they make a play off of it alaris almost doing just that avatar not able to block it it turns into a goal 100x throwing continue the curse a quick one minute goal you know what that was a bit anticlimactic but it works you had S-Class dedicating for that one save, goes a bit too far out, but I'm liking the defensive play. I don't want to even fault it because since it all has been doing a good job really trusting S-Class Wizard as the third man, and I think that trust is well-founded. 
Just gotta try to keep at it. Make sure you're not overcommitting when you do make that save. Now at the back wall, Diaz doesn't have Blaz quite yet in the right position. Instead, meets it for the clear. 50 50 is it back, but only gonna be an avatar man's hands. Nice flick. Wow. There to S class. Looks for, or sorry, that was Solanalo. Looks for the final touch, but doesn't quite find it. Now it's an open net, and now it's a rush back. Not gonna get back fast enough. Now we finally see that 2 0 differential. Sunset Olives put on the back burner. Trying to put myself in the comms of Sunset Olives. You have to imagine it's a idea of all right, everybody calm down. We're not even a minute through. We can make these goals back. Solo, Agreed. trying to be the leader for it. Sets it up. But not going to find it from S-Class. Maybe Avatar. Back to Solo. But an intercepted. Now a chance for 100X throwing to continue their lead early. But S-Class actually able to get the hit first to slow down that orange offense. Solo intercepts it again. It's, it's continuing for the Sunset Alls. Maybe that was the moment. But instead, Blaz with a look. Not there. Diaz sets up. But can't win out the 50. But the demo from Solo demo. could set up new offense for the Sunset Olives. Watch S-Class as well, right behind demo. with the tap. The demo followed, but no, no opportunity from that. That might be one the Sunset Olives wish they had back. You know what? I'm liking it, though. That's actually what I was going to say is that their synergy is always so really well done when it comes to their offensive plays. But it's like that goal we saw where S-Class Wizard kicked it off to Solanalo. Oh, my God. Never mind. Sheesh. Avatar kicking up on the backboard. This man has been such a great offensive player for the Sunset Alves. Very glad to see this new Alves get slotted up into the Martini glass right now. 100x throwing, still sitting comfortable with one up. But that goal might shake their nerves just a little bit. Do not want to see a repeat of that game one because it was a slugfest that they just could not stand for with their stamina. S-Class will be waiting for Blaz, but it doesn't work out. Now Lars at the corner. Can't quite beat out Solo, but has Diaz for backup, and Diaz will prop it up for Blaz, who has a pretty good look. Flip reset. Nice reset. No, not there. Avatar. Too much. Solo, no boost. Avatar, none. S-Class low, but the Sunset Hollows don't seem to care. They're still making an offensive play off of it, and they have a chance. But no, not quite. But I am shocked that was so close. They had no boost, d -Lo. They had no reason to be that successful with that play. But now the counter here, this time from Hunter throwing. They got boost in pocket. They're ready. Maybe not ready enough. Diaz kicks it right back up. Nice bang down field. Looks for the double. Solon all going to find wheels on it first. Kicks it right back, only to the hands of Blaz, now on the side wall. Let's see what the play is. Flips it off, and now looking for that double commit. S-Class Wizard does get wheels on it first, but Sunset Alls maybe starting to show their nerves a bit, but a beautiful shot up, Forget chipped the up nerves. from midfield. <laughs> S-Class Wizard, defensive, offensive. This player's coming down in spades. I like the call out from chat as well, Dilo. Talking a lot about the rotational play coming from the Sunset Olives. That really it matches with the more mechanical approach coming from 100x throwing, and that goes back to Riptide for all of that gaming in the previous seasons. Rotations were the name of their game. When when you were first getting into Rocket League casting with me, Delo, one of the things I told you was watch how all of that rotates through for their defensive play and just in general. Mm -hmm because it was really clean even for a Riptide Cup team. And now they brought it up to Surge, and it's working for the moment. It's stalled, but not stalled long enough. Avatar Mans cleans it up in time to take the lead with Sunset Olives. Beautiful, beautiful work. Avatar's just been doing so freaking well. Self set up there, nothing more necessary. Now Sunset Olives. It's like what you said, they kept a cool head. They said, we're down two, it does not matter. Still so much Rocket League left to play. And we still have more left. Nearly two minutes, in fact. Blast. Trying to come back with their own mechanical approach, but unfortunately didn't quite have the nuts and bolts tied in. Screwly enough. Now Avatar, off the side wall, no boost in corner. Gonna be a bit rough for you there. S-Class Wizard has a bit in pocket, but still not gonna be able to find the angle. Solonalo, brute forces their way through, but Avatar now coming back with a full tanker. It might not be enough. Open net, double touch though, a bit off the oh, left no. side. No, it's a big miss. Oh, no. That's a big whiff. Alaris, everyone's got spaghetti on the floor from their pockets, it's spilling out. Let's see if Diaz can try to put it right back up. No, not quite, banged right back down field. Sunset Olives looking to try to find the dagger. Solanalo buries it in their heart. Spaghetti on the floor, knocking on the door of a Sicilian massacre. If the Sunset Olives can continue this play, a two goal lead with the state of these two teams that we've seen up to this point feels like a four goal lead. The offense is so quick from both sides, but you've got to keep it within that one 
goal connection to make it matter. Ooh. And the Sunset Olives instantly oh make it three God. with Solo being oh so clean. I just got to call it back to what you said earlier, I think. Look at that beautiful pinch off the ground right into the hands of Soul. That's all set up by Wizard. Wizard is an absolute mastermind in setting up for the team so far across the entire series. Soul and Owl finishes the play, but you got to give your flowers where they're due. And S-Class Wizard's been doing such a fantastic job on the defensive end. Soul and Owl tries to find another one. Three goal differential, pinch there against the wall, back in the corner, 100x throwing. You don't want to make true on your name, my friends. You might have to start changing it otherwise, because the bad juju's starting to get to them. They're starting to get on the fritz. Big demo there on a Diaz. Solo, no boost, hasn't stopped them yet. Does this time. If 100x throwing can't lock it in, despite how close game one was, this could turn into Poison Ivy real quick, and it could spread all over the body of gameplay the 100x throwing it brought to the table. So they've got to lock it in. Now Diaz, no boost in the corner, but trying to hold control to set up for Blaz. Blaz over the head of two. Make it just the one as Avatar caught it. With only 10 seconds, that might have sealed the deal on this game number two, but still looking for a goal on the way out. 100x throwing will give it their best shot, but it doesn't fire away. Gonna drop down just as the hopes to take that second game will drop as well, and their hopes to take the series might just be be in the same story. Hundred X throwing, having a hard time now. Sunset Olives start off in a rocky position, but the tenacity of this team is proving to be the difference maker. I don't know. We said from our friend in the chat that there's that difference between mechanical and rotational, and at the end of the day, it's a three v three. Mechanics are only gonna use so far if your synergy is not on point. And I think that's what you called attention to. The fact that Wizard off the side wall is an absolute demon. This man is a hundred level mage in my D&D party. <laughs> He's casting fireball. He's sending those magic missiles down into your net, into the waiting arms of Sol and All and Avatar. And when you have that synergy, when you have those puzzle pieces clicking into place, it just doesn't feel like anything can stop you. It, it doesn't. And, you know, shouting out chat more. We talked about the analysis that came out. Also, the knowledge of lore here. First game together for Avatar Mans with Solo and S-Class, which has not seemed to be the case. My goodness, that has been out of control. And, you know, 100x throwing, and this is something I've heard outside of this chat. We're a big favorite for Surge. A lot of people were looking at them. And all of that, or excuse me, Sunset Olives. They, uh, not no fear of it so far. Now sitting on match point kickoff of game number three and 100x throwing they've already made it a set but they're looking to make it a competition with a start like that from the sunset olives it's gotta feel good to be repping all the olive my parlay be hitting i called it whoever won that game <laughs> wins the entire set my money lines about to be nice i'm about to be eating good tonight we're getting uber eats and it's gonna be a nice clean lux car like the one that alaris is rocking it's gonna be pulling up to my apartment in just a minute but sunset olives right now we're gonna be looking to make it a second avatar off that corner doesn't quite find it but it's still the pressure on the side of throwing solon olive tries to meet them in the sky now diaz fancy footwork doesn't quite find much off it because they didn't have the boost left these Ooh. individual plays will get you so far off the backboard alaris tries to redirect so they can get possession that's a good shot but you got faith in the defensive mastermind of s-class wizard can't get I'll take this line right out of your playbook, D'Lo. You, you can't get too big for your britches. And, <laughs> and Sunset <laughs> Olives do know that. They're a very disciplined team. But 100x throwing, they've got the skill. We've seen the shooting. It's the defense that's needed work. And they hadn't had to worry too much about that defense because their shooting was there. In the previous game, Sunset Olives had an answer. Oh, no. Wow. Oh, is it a back? Is it another? No. Okay. Wow, almost another crazy read from Sunset Olives. Is it still there somehow? Some way? No. Under X throwing, have a moment to breathe, and so do we. They just gotta lock in, D'Lo. That's the that's the short and sweet of it. With Solo continuing to set up shots, and S-Class making shots like that! That poison ivy! <laughs> it's getting worse and worse and worse as time is going on. And if S-Class can make shots like this on Q, call him Poison Ivan. Sunset all said to throwing, I went to Locked In City and no one knew you there. They do need to lock in though. They need to find some way because right now Sunset All is looking like the governor, mayor, and president of the country, of the town, of the governorship. But they got one off the crossbar. Not going to be enough though. Avatar going to be ready to step up and make it step away. 
Laz kicks it up off one, but S-Class Wizard, so dependable, so willing to make sure to take those steps, those brilliant aerial defenses, 50-50, gonna go away with throwing, but they don't have enough setup. They need to have the rotation. They have some members in place, but not before it gets stifled out once again. Three minutes left now off the corner. Let's see what Alaris can do. Not enough. They might need to start playing back a bit further with their passing game because once it starts to get a bit of a cluster around that goalie box, it seems like Sunset All seem to have the formula for how to snuff out their offensive hopes. Now, Sunset All with their counterattack. Not going to quite go their way. Banged right back down by Avatar. 50-50, not going to go their way either. Trying to play it slow, but you don't have much time left, my Are friend. Might want to pick up the pace. Oh, no. Open goal. Easy pickings. S-Class Wizard, man. Magic Missile. That thing's got a heat seeker on it. <laughs> I... Those shot. That's the shot. We, I was going to say it. When I got the mic back, I was going to say 100x throwing impressed me. They caught S-Class setting up on the sidewall at midfield looking for the S-Class wizard shot. They caught him and they bumped him away. And then all of a sudden, snap back to reality. S-Class doesn't care about gravity and again pulls the same shot with no answer from 100X throwing. <sighs> and now it's 3-0, just like that. This is, a v they look like they looked in Riptide against a team that looks like it belongs in Surge. I'm genuinely so impressed by the talent so far. Chad mentioned that this is the first time they're playing together officially with Avatar too. But this synergy bodes good things already. Having the read on that, and that is so crucial. They have the read on exactly where that would end up, that awkward spot in that, and Sunset Alves quickly bang it out. And now Alaris, awkward spot there. Kept the ball in the same place for way too long. S-Class bangs it off the side wall. Doesn't quite find the angle for the team to set it up off. Now in the corner of Sunset Alves. Bit dangerous, but S-Class wins it off that back wall. Plays it down. Plays it low into the waiting arms there of Avatar. Brilliant work to beat out that 50 that 100x throwing tried to throw at you. Now Blaz, Blaz tries to do something for it. Has the bounce shot. It's awkward. It's slow. It works. It Finally works on the board. indeed. 100x throwing. D-Lo, every shot will matter. Let's go back. You know, take the brain, go through the sky, the fast movements, game one. We kind of were starting to, I, I, in our both of our voices, I, I, we could hear it. We, we've cast enough together. We were ready to, to kind of call the game in those last moments. But 100x throwing made it a game. And even in overtime, they had their looks. They're not going until, until that last touch on zero. It's just how they're playing. But they've got to still lock in more. They need another one. We talked about insurance. We talked about the way... Now, if you get too many on the board, it can feel like a lot more. But now with two on, oh. <laughs> one goal lead, it's feeling possible. It might just be. In any moment, our friend in the, tra in the chat, uh, Trash, might kidnap Solanala. We know that he's posted up outside his door. <laughs> he might have gotten paid off by 100x throwing, so we might need to see if some RLSS officials investigate that if they do end up throwing this one. But we'll find out. One minute left. Still plenty of time to make a goal, especially with the pace they're working at. You know they've got a fire lit under them. Avatar trying to recognize that, trying to stamp out the embers of Revolt, but Alaris diverts it. Nice center there, but S-Class Wizard gets on it first. Back in their corner, Blaz tries to win that 50, not going to succeed. Now kicked up on to throwing side. S-Class Wizard doesn't win that 50 either. They've been going generally the way of Orange. They have the force, they have the speed! They don't have the angle. S-Class Wizard saves it again. 45, do or die for 100x throwing. Down by one, and Sunset Olives are looking to close out the first game of week number one in the Surge Cup. Is that the final shot? Not quite. Is it there? Arrow! Yeah, it is! S-Class Wizard continues to be a demon. Riptide or Surge, no matter, as long as they're on the Olives, and you got S-Class, you got to score 4-2 to two on the precipice of a sweep. 30 seconds left. We've seen Stranger Things happen before, but... This ain't that type of Netflix series, my friend. It's looking to be a rough one. It's looking to be a murder series. It's looking to be a true crime one. The body's on the floor, but you couldn't make much from it. Got to focus on getting some open shots net. on board. There's an open net. Blaz with the speed. Looks oh! for the double cut. <laughs> but S-Class Wizard casts protection. Beautiful work. The double dip. They're not going to work better. Ten seconds left. I don't think they can do it. Dude, their dice are broken. Never have I seen a player at a table step up and throw the dice on the floor the way S-Class just did, but no chance. Shooting 
and defending. It was all there from S-Class and Sunset Olives take the opener for week one of Surge Cup between these two. 100x throwing put up a hell of a fight, D-Lo. But Sunset Olives just had something lit underneath them this game. 3-0 doesn't reflect it. It does not reflect the intensity of some of these moments at all. I want to throw a lot of props here to 100x throwing. Unfortunately, didn't come up with a game under your belt, but nonetheless played it very well. Certainly gave Olivet a bit of a run for their money. But at the end of the day, the victor is the members of Olivet going to vend. <laughs> I uh, said interview when they said yes. <laughs> You're a vengeful stance there for their brethren in arms who unfortunately fell before, were squished and speared on the toothpicks of their enemies. All right, D'Lo, let's go ahead. Let's head down into the home booth and hear what the Sunset Olives have to say. I know chat's very excited to hear this, too. Huzzah. Kickoff strats are just we missed the We missed the huzzah from D'Lo, but hey, guys, congratulations. <laughs> My goodness, what a way to start yourselves off in Dude, search God, Thank you, thank you. Thank oh. you. Thank you. How are we feeling? Awesome. Well, really good. Um, good. We didn't know what to expect going into this week. Um, so to come out with a sweep of all things um, against a team that was really good. I mean, those those weren't, you know, blowouts by any means. Those were really close games. I, it was awesome. Yeah. I, I agree, especially that first game. And that's kind of, I, I know for D'Lo and I, that's the one we're both going to remember. That was one of the, I think that was the craziest game that him and I have gotten to cast <laughs> together in Rocket League. We've been through some crazy games around, uh, around a lot of games, but for Rocket League, that one for sure takes the cake for us. So take me through kind of the, the mindset because it came down to the wire in regulation of game one. And then in overtime, there were a lot of moments where it looked like 100x throwing were millimeters away from winning the game so what were comms like throughout game one yeah the biggest the biggest thing was um our, our comms was just knowing where our rotation was knowing where everybody was um they had some really good shots we had some really good shots and a lot of stuff just wasn't going in um and eventually we were able to get one but the biggest thing was our comms i mean our, our passing um just knowing where uh everybody is it, it is just really fantastic this week the last one i have before i'll uh Hand it over to D'Lo, and I know D'Lo's going right for Avatar, man. So don't you worry. Don't get comfortable, <laughs> Avatar. Your time's coming. Okay. But I'm going to look for S-Class here. And one thing that, you know, as I was kind of getting used to casting Rocket League, being newer to Rocket League, I was looking at the Olivet from the previous season's rotations, and I was always talking about your shots at midfield off the sidewall, S-Class. It's like your comfy, cozy spot. I mean, that's the that's the, that's Dad's chair, don't sit in it type of thing. <laughs> And there was a few moments where 100x throwing seemed to catch on to that, and you adjusted mm. and started taking new angles that I hadn't seen from you. Was that an on-the-fly thing, or was that something you genuinely been working on behind the scenes? Uh, yeah, because they they were shutting shutting me down pretty good with those. So then I started to really just look at uh, passing, getting those uh, instead of going for the shot, looking to my team. They they are really good at the comm saying, you know, I'm mid, I'm mid. So there's no point in me throwing the ball. Uh, towards goal for a guy when I could pass it to my teammate and he just bang it in. But yeah, it, it was great. Well, the adjustment definitely worked and it, it shows that you guys moved up to surge and were ready to have to make those kind of mid-game adjustments for, for sure. But D'Lo, please. Avatar, man, not only my favorite movie, but also a fantastic player <laughs> in your own right. One, congratulations <laughs> to you. Congratulations to all Thank of you. you beautiful work out there by like my voice was already kind of shot before this but now i think i've got a hell of a warning in front of me tomorrow but it was worth it to see that action on the pitch avatar anthony talks about comfort talks about that nice big cushy chair but mm -hmm. you kind of have a chair that's maybe a bit too big or a bit too small not the one that's just right you're new to the squad here what's the Absolutely. mentality for you what's clicking in your mind when it comes to the new mentals the new chemistry that you got to come on because man you fit in like a glove yeah, I thought so too. We played really well. Um, I thought initially in the games that we played before the match, um, we were getting used to the comms, you know, getting used to the infield passing, all that sort of stuff. So I think we're just making sure that the glove fit, and it did. You did a fantastic job with it, rocking it with some style, my guy. Excellent work thank to you. you. Thank you, thank you. Wow, yeah, that uh, overall going through was crazy. I, uh, you know... There's, there's so much we could we could talk about for sure, but I guess I'll kind of, you know, usually I kind of, I do like a final thoughts after and then I give shout outs, but I think for my final thoughts, it's more of a, 
It's more of a kind of a, a zoom out level. Are you guys feeling, is, did this game add some confidence? I'm sure moving up a division, there was some inherent nerves. Do you guys kind of already, did that game, did that set give you the feeling of, all right, we kind of, you know, this fits. I think, um, yeah, moving up, nobody knows what we're getting into. Um, man, we're so well known in Riptide. Um, I love those guys down there. Surge, I, I don't think a lot of people know about us. And I think we really did you just know. make a statement game, for sure. I think I think we made uh, made a statement game in Surge to where I, I think other teams really do need to to look at us a little bit closer because we may look. Listen, our our trackers aren't that aren't the best, right? We may we're a little bit low level, but we played high level today, and it, it's top tier. I love the confidence. Confidence is required in any esport, but in Rocket League especially, for sure. So with that, I'll open it up for the shout-outs for you guys before we head out. So please, go ahead. Yeah, I'll, I'll just go first. I, I'd like to thank, we got a lot of family, uh, a lot of family and friends watching us, as yeah, always. Yeah, the chat's been crazy tonight. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait to rewatch it. Um, it. It's awesome. I, I hope they were really as excited as we were. I mean, our comms <laughs> were crazy, and we were, I mean, we were hyping ourselves up. It, it was awesome. So shout-out to family and friends that always stick around, watch us, support us. Um, and shout out to you guys for doing this. I'm, I'm so excited. It's week one of RLSS. It's off to a great start. You guys are here. You had a double header of olives. It's awesome, man. Yeah, all the all the olive olives. But uh, if anybody else would like to uh, to hop in and give their shouts, please feel free. Yes, I, I just want to say uh, thank you guys for everybody, my teammates, for having oh, me. Yes. Uh, like I said, this is this is the first time I'm a part of this uh, league. So I just want to say thanks to everybody who's putting it together. It's leagues like this are what makes Rocket League one of my favorite games of all time. So I absolutely love it. Hell yeah, that is perfectly worded, Avatar. You you know, speaking of fitting like a glove, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Talk about making a making a stamp. But Tommy's gonna hear that and drool a bit. <laughs> <laughs> but anything from uh, anything from U.S. class? Oh, uh, you know, just uh, thank you, family, friends. You know, of course. Solo, Solo kind of covered it all. But yeah, thanks for the cast. I, I am really excited to watch it tomorrow. Heck, yeah. Well, thank you. Very excited to see it, dude. Yeah, exactly. It, Anthony, I should add one more thing. Um, we did get, we get, we got picked up by Sunset um, Esports. So a big shout out to them. And then okay, yeah. Avatar mentioned teammates. Yeah, definitely the Avatar because um, he was kind of thrown into this last second. I mean, honestly, this was like the first time we were playing together. So um, it, it makes this kind of sweeter. Heck yeah. yeah. I uh and yeah, it was actually it was correct on on stream. It was just the in game was the uh was the same, <laughs> thankfully. So no corrections were needed on stream, but for you guys you got to see, you got to have one little last run of all of it gaming <laughs> popping up. But but sunset was still locked in. But no, thank you guys so much for talking with us and enjoy the rest of your night and good luck moving forward. I'm sure the competition surge will only get tougher, so good luck. Thanks, thank Anthony. Thanks, Dilo. All right, back in studio, gang. Just us, me, you, D-Lo. But man, what a freaking game. What a set that was. I am so glad we got to do that, D-Lo. There's, there's going to be some clips that they've got from that first Heck game yeah. alone. There's so much game tape. to. I'm, they mentioned the fact that you know we're like on the undercurrent here. No one really knows our names. They've certainly know their names now there is no better statement i can think of than such an impactful start just the intensity of it but then they slowly just started to crank up the decibels until that lead just grew mm -hmm. bigger and bigger sure they were all tight games but they were still one decisively i would say with the exception of that first one and at the end of the day it was their team coordination that really sunk them that lead the adaptability of wizard just the ability to the adaptability of avatar to just join yeah, up with I a know. new squad and say oh yeah i this is fine i'll just absolutely two tap everyone just broke it on his dancing shoes and started absolutely square dancing on him and then solanalo the reliable always faithful leader of the team setting up those shots sinking in those setups it's just a beautiful formula and i cannot wait to see what they do in the future I can't either, but hey, that's going to do it for us. I'm going to send you guys over to the owner of RLSS, Tommy Buckets. He's got a cast coming up at 10 o'clock. 
and uh, I believe he's at the moment he's actually doing a bit of a music thing, another DJ sesh. So send Tommy hellos. If you want to see anything else that I do personally, in most places you can find me. You can also find Delo. I have a lot of stuff in my panels here on Twitch if you want to support and check stuff out as well. The VOD for these games will be up on YouTube the next day, as I always do for Rocket League VODs. If you want to go back and, and view them again and see them. Delo, thanks so much for hanging out with me. You can find us both on Twitter at the at CC on screen. I hope everybody has a safe, fantastic night. Enjoy more RLSS and give Tommy all the love. See you guys. Have a good one, guys.